Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. We are live, large and in charge on a Friday morning. And man, are we in for a wild ride. Now, South African-born comedian Kevin Fraser became an internet sensation after moving to Australia in 2014 when he started releasing hilarious videos online about his experience as an expat using an impressive array of accents that he picked up throughout his life. Now, over five years since, his videos have been viewed millions of time, times online and he has toured around the world performing to sell out audiences. Now, as busy as his life has become, Kevin still finds time to make regular videos online, some of them that look like this. Like I've not been to game for maybe even seven years. I said to the guy, nah, I was like, <clears throat> excuse me, brother, like, could you f help me find a hard drive? Like, a hard drive? No, man, I give a hard drive. Go back to Bloemfontein. That's a hard drive. Nah. You are leaving the store and you want to go by yourself a chocolate on the way out. Nah. So I went to buy myself a TV bar. <laughs> and it was 7 rand 99. The last time I was here, I could fill my basket for 7 rand 99. I look at the lady and said, The TV bar. Seven rand ninety nine. Yo, can you give me a radio bar? Maybe instead. <laughs> Cash or card? Kevin, you are so scissor. Now I must find rents for the car card. Still been dishing out five friends since 1997. Well, here he is now. Kevin Fred is in the studio, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Yeah. Radio power. Yeah. <laughs> It's much cheaper than a TV bar. Oh, I love that. Well, listen, I see you from Durban. I feel like I can claim I'm from Durban too every now and then. Okay. What was it like for you growing up in Durban? It was very hot, eh? Yeah, yeah. Look, she's like just yeah, sticky. all the time. This Especially time of year, you don't want to be in Durban, but yeah. it's, yeah. No, it was good. It's a very chilled lifestyle. And then, yeah, I eventually moved on to Johannesburg and. Concrete jungle, yeah. No, one, of, one of your inspirations I saw in the video, in the surprise video. Surprise. Was your nanny. Uh, yes. Up. Tell me yes. about the, the connection with your nanny and how she served as an inspiration to you. Yeah, so her name is Anna and she's been with my family since uh, I was two months. I actually clarified that the other day. I was two months old. Yeah. And uh, she was like another... Yeah? Yo. Is that your Hello. <laughs> Uh, we got some chicken. We okay. We're starting an organic garden in the back there, so that's sorry. That's <laughs> yeah. And um, yeah, no, she, she she raised me. She was always there for me. So we had the, we built this connection predominantly like after school. Like whenever I come back from school, like we'd hang out, and that was our time. Like, and I like was taught to dance by her. I just appropriated her accent. So there's a lot of inspiration from her there. That's and it just cool. became our way of connecting with each other. And yeah, yeah you say appropriated things. her accent. Yes. Uh, a lot of people have a negative connotation to the appropriation of certain yeah. things. How do you relate to that? Well, I say, you know, if even um, after having been in Australia for, for so long, like if you talk to, say, a Chinese person for long enough, you'll soon find you saying, oh, which way is it the bathroom? You know, <laughs> it just becomes one of those things. I think it's just your way of like connecting with someone and understanding each other on, on that sort of level, you know. And, and mimicking them. Yeah. Hmm, okay. yeah, and like, but I do that with. Everyone, everywhere I go, it's just, it's just my style, I suppose. It's like acting. What's, what's your I best suppose. accent? My best accent. Ah, oh, it's 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 got to be my African, my African female accent. Yes. Let's hear, let's hear it. Give it's us, give us something. Are you sure you want to hear this one? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> you sure you want to hear? Yeah. Well, Surprise. Kat, yeah. Well, Kat mentioned that it started off with videos when you were in Australia. What was that light bulb moment for you when you realized I can actually make a career? out of this yeah because at first like i started doing it because people were like dude you're not keeping us up to date with your travels like oh yeah so i was frustrated so i was like boom there's a video and i did one on a, a train ride that i experienced in melbourne and i just uploaded it and because australia is about 77 years ahead in time <laughs> i went to bed after i posted the video on facebook and i was like boom and i woke up and I had like twenty thousand views and just like thousands of shares and comments so i started reading all the comments and uh, people were like, where, where are you doing your next gig and this? And I was like, what, what do you mean gig? Like, I don't, what do you want to, what gig? <laughs> <laughs> like, it's just a video. So uh, people were saying like, oh, we'd like pay to come and watch you live. And I was like, serious, hey? <laughs> so, Man, and, it's, and it. it's exploded for you because you were even part of an Australian dating show. Yeah, yeah, that Tell is awkward. 
<laughs> Tell us about it. How did you end up on a dating show? Ah, just walking down the streets and then, yeah. <laughs> Nick, minute. Now, I, uh, huh? yeah, I was asked to, oh, okay, so let's talk about the poem really slang for a second. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I just ended up on this show. I wanted to, like, show Australia, like, you know, what Africa was like and a bit of that. And I thought, you know, to try and get onto a reality show would have been a cool way to do yeah. that. And um, I'd, I'd actually auditioned for a couple of different TV shows. And then this one was the only one that I actually didn't care about. So I put one of my, like, viral videos as an audition tape. I was like, boom, take me as I am, we'll leave it. And they phoned me straight away and they were like, we want you on the show, and then I ended up with a snake around my neck. So you're did big you down under, Did you at least get a too. date out of all of it? <laughs> Pardon? Did you at least get a date out of it? Yeah, I did, it, I did, yeah, I, I did. It was, uh, yeah, and they sent us to this, like, African, like, retreat thing with all the animals. It was hectic, eh? <laughs> but the thing is, it's like you start, like, promoting, like, how you're from Africa, and, like, you know, you've got all these animals, but when I got close to the lions, I was like, I ain't gay, gay. please just get me out of here. <laughs> I need to get protection from myself. <laughs> Man! Uh, Kevin Fraser is here in the studio. You can follow him online at Kevin Fraser Official. Brilliant stuff. Great having you here, man. Thank you. It's a pleasure. It's not there, my game. It's not there, my game. It's my feel good breakfast show. Welcome back. It is your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso. Time for us to play a little bit of a game. And what we've done is we've put together a selection of random celebs and we want to hear the first question. You would ask them in an interview in a quick fire game called Say What? Mm. Say what? Oh, well, it's only fair that we put one of the presenters up against one of our <laughs> guests. Kevin Fraser is still with us in studio. Kat, you've only hosted this game, so this is the first time you actually get to play. I'm nervous. Okay. I'm very nervous. Are you nervous? It's the first time for everything, eh? Okay. <laughs> you never forget your first time. <laughs> <laughs> well, Kevin, you know how the game works. We've got an image here. Do I? I'm going to give each of you a chance to say the first thing that comes to your mind. Are Who's you going to go first? I feel like our guest needs to go yes. first. So you always go first, right. I'll follow up. Okay. So you just Shop. go look at the screen. Okay. Shop. Let's get our first picture up. Come it on. is a picture of Charlize Ooh, Theron. Theron. Where did you live in Benoni? Because I was there too, eh? <laughs> uh, would you be consider becoming a Benoni ambassador? <laughs> okay. And then, and nobody, there's no official title of ambassador of Benoni, you know? I there mean, isn't. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Is there an ambassador of Cape Town? <laughs> yes, I'm sure there is. Table Mountain, I don't know. Move on. Move okay, on. let's move on. Our next guest is Oprah. Oh. Wow. I just want to give her a hug, to be honest. But you have to say something. <laughs> you get a car, you get a car, you all get a car. <laughs> Oprah Winfrey. You're asking her for a car? I, I, would, I would want to ask her, what, how would she like to be remembered one day? She's done so much good in the world. Like, how would you want to be remembered? What would you, when people say Oprah Winfrey, yeah. she is there? Yes. Complete that sentence for me. I want to ask her what conditioner she uses. Oh, wow. Yes. Conditioner yeah. for the dogs. Yes. Beautiful, cool. Oh, okay. So Next one. Brandon. Next one. We have the one and only Britney Spears. Oh, hit me, baby, one more time, hey? <laughs> <laughs> you have to ask her a question. You have to ask a question. I, I know. I just, I just had to take a moment. Uh, it, like, what is actually going on there? Like, <laughs> how are you feeling, on Out Remember? Of all the images, this is the one we got for you. I would ask Britney Spears if she ever regrets leaving Justin Timberlake, or just like, you know, oh guys, that wasn't even meant to Yo, be spicy. That wasn't soon, even. Eh? I know it's just. What do you too mean? Soon. Too soon. Too yes. soon. That's been decades. I just want to know how she got that on. What do you mean? Just the, the that. Effort. How'd you get it's that very, on? How do you put that spider's web on? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a fly there. What? Okay. Let's move on to our next guest. What would you ask Kevin Fraser? <laughs> Awkward. That's me, eh? Yep. Uh, why the pose, bro? <laughs> I would ask him, and look, what is your modus operandi in this current agenda, Baba? <laughs> <laughs> Tell us, we want to know. We want to know. Let's Spoon move on to our next guest, Kim Kardashian. Oh, Lord. It's the first time, why are we choosing pictures like this? Is that a, is that a, is that a real Kim Kardashian? It's Kim Kardashian. Is no, I mean, there's something in the middle there that looks like it's a, is it not I a think it's a ribbon. Oh, it's a ribbon. Oh, my. <laughs> Like, what are she you doing? Like a doll on a Why, ball? Kim? Operation what? Bling. Ugh. Sure. I'm trying to understand. What, what about the kids? I think that would, be my que that would be my question. What about the kids? Yeah, I want to know if that's an advert for Red Bull. 
I'm, <laughs> I'm just like my Victoria's Secret an angel. angel. <laughs> wow, yo. Okay. Okay, Listen, that, that was torture. I'm not going to lie, tough. gentlemen. Yeah, that was torture. That was torture. A game um, of okay, say yeah. what? And there wasn't much spice. I, I, I suck at this game. I realize <laughs> I'm, only, I'm only good at hosting it. I suck at playing it. I think you did well. No, you're OK. All right. I still want to know what is your modus operandi. We at home want to know from you, what did you think of these two playing a game of say what? Head on over to our social media pages with that hashtag Expresso Show. It's my feel good breakfast show. Welcome back. It's your feel good breakfast show. It's a Friday. We are live, large, and in charge. And always so good to have you with us. Uh, listen, we're hanging out with comedian and YouTube sensation Kevin Fraser. And it's time to look back at some of our Friday funnies, some of the most influential stories over the past week. Mm. That we just, you know, we want to we see the, the good side of it, the funny side of it, yeah. if there is such a thing. And we'd love to hear your opinion mm. on it. I mean, mm. this news, uh, sure. this past <laughs> week, the news broke. And, and, you know, the world of Instagram, they tell you about who gets the most likes all the time. So Kylie Jenner held that title yes. up until this past week when an egg dethroned her from having the most likes dethroned. this on very Instagram. Egg. This that exact egg. egg. Its Instagram posts sure. received more posts than when Kylie Jenner posted the first little picture of her daughter. Are you sure that's not an ostrich egg, hey? Because <laughs> hey. if we look at the details, <laughs> the freckles. It's a special egg. But you're quite big on Instagram as well. What do you, what do you think of this egg story? It's not crazy. as big as this egg, though. Clearly not. Yeah. <laughs> it's got more freckles than Kylie Jenner as well. So. Well, she hides it with makeup maybe if she has any freckles at all. It's quite extra, hey? Oh! Oh, I see what you did Also, apparently this week, Donald Trump um, made headlines when he hosted an American football team <laughs> for dinner. There he is. He hosted them for dinner. And guess what? He served them all fast food burgers. No, and man. Was like... he trying to be cool? He's like that dad that's not cool. It's quite neat, hey, how they're all structured like this, eh? Hey? And he's sure. very excited. Yes. Guys, I reckon the budgets have been cut. So... Because most of the food. budget is going to the... wall. Yeah. I get it. They've shifted they've, 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 so they, they can they, only they afford budgets. burgets. But yeah. even though they, they, they're cutting budgets, like you're saying, that's a lot of food. I mean, how many people in a football team? On a no, side no, no, note, no, that's no. also a really long tie. Is <laughs> <laughs> just, just saying. No, I'm just saying, if we get invited to <laughs> President Cyril Ramaphosa's house, I do not expect there to be burgers. Just <laughs> at least the at papa least be... and morojo. And and at you know. least a seven-course meal. Yeah. yeah. No, we'll papa, morojo, Is papa that sushi? Mocha. No, they wouldn't have... It looks like it is, dude. Sushi. Yeah. But like from next door, takeaway type of thing. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, uh, exactly. <laughs> and then lastly... But still not for the team. <laughs> the hashtag 10-year challenge has been a thing. Um, the, it's been a lot of they, fun. They, they, these are some prime examples okay. of what the 10-year challenge has delivered. So that's our Leanne. She's not here this morning. She's going to be broadcasting live from Musenberg. But okay. that's Tabiso. I 10 mean, years. I mean, the evolution of... Ma 10 I mean, years, the a lot evolution. has changed. Yo, Goodness yo. griefs. Show us another one. Do you have there, another there one? There has no. to be Ewan's That's one. Oh, oh, wow. But I've, I've, I've seen like a few... A few... <laughs> <laughs> this is me. <laughs> have you... <laughs> Did you pull this from my feed? <laughs> have you done a 10-year challenge? I, I, I look back to try and find a suitable photo and I'm just like, yo, yo, I was like 10 kilos and like, it's just embarrassing. I can't do this to myself. <laughs> Shame, man. You must have not nutrition. I'll do it. I'll do 10 it. kilos. I'll do it. Yeah. yeah. I, was, <laughs> I needed some of those burgers from... from yeah, Trump's absolutely. Office. Was at the White House. Oh, yeah. Wow. But you get some of your friends that do it and like, they think they've changed. It's like, but you haven't. <laughs> but you really haven't. <laughs> Uh, anyway, let us know which stories have caught your attention over the past week that have put a smile on your face and maybe they've just made you go, oh, why? Um, and share them with us online uh, using hashtag Expresso Show. Kevin Fraser, thanks so much Thank for joining so us much. this morning, man. Really appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> really appreciate it.